Hello, my name is Bryce Eventhal and I'm a certified SOLIDWORKS application engineer from Go Engineer. In today's quick tips video, we will talk about some quicker ways to insert symbols that are already linked to manufacturer's components for SOLIDWORKS electrical schematics. So the first thing I'll do is create a symbol that is linked to a manufacturer. So if, well, I'll go to my library tab and then go to my symbols manager. So what we're going to say is I'm always inserting this circuit breaker over and over and my company only buys one type of circuit breaker from the same manufacturer. Rather than insert this symbol every time and then link it to a manufacturer, I'm going to do the reverse so I link a manufacturer first and then every time I insert that symbol it's already linked. So I still need this symbol so I'm going to create another one that's linked to a manufacturer so I'll just copy and paste it. Here we go and then I'll right click it and go to the properties. So I'll go ahead and rename it so I know which one's which, and I'll call this my Schneider Electric Circuit Breaker. And we'll come down here and link it to manufacturer, so I'll pick Schneider Electric out of this list here. But this next step is the more important part, where we actually link it to a part. So once I click in this No Reference button, I'll go ahead and search. You'll notice that it automatically threw me in that Snyder Electric manufacturer. So I'll go ahead and search for a component. Hit search, found that component. And now this symbol is linked to that Snyder Electric GV2ME06 um, circuit breaker. So we'll go ahead and hit OK, close this. And now next time I come around and we're on the schematic tab. I need to insert some symbols. I'll go ahead and search for that circuit breaker. So I'll go ahead and go to the circuit breaker classification and search for that Snyder Electric symbol. I named it Snyder Electric. It's alphabetical and there it is. So now I'll just double click it and place it on my schematic. And you notice when I go to the manufacturer tab, my Snyder Electric symbol is already associated. So that's going to save you a lot of time if you're always using that same component for that symbol. Another way to link the manufacturer component to the symbol is using macros. So I'll go ahead and go to another schematic that I've been working on. And you see I have a circuit drawn here. So I'll go ahead and just select it this motor circuit and uh, I select it a little bit too much so I'll go ahead and deselect it a little bit and then once I come over here and click and drag and drop this I can name it put some metadata with this macro I'll just call this my motor hit OK and now when I go back to that diagram you'll notice once I use this macro let's say a couple weeks has gone by and I want to use this macro now I come out here place it and I'll go ahead and hit OK to that message and you'll see that all of those kept the same manufacturer so if you look at it kept that same manufacturer that was applied on that other schematic and you'll notice terminals carried over as well so I could right click any one of those terminals and the terminal has been selected as well even the four wires here that were associated to cores and a cable stayed through that macro so this is a lot faster ways to keep you from having to link those manufacturers after you place the symbol. So again, link those manufacturers before you create the symbol or in macros and they'll make you a lot faster. Ultimately, we showed two different ways to linking the manufacturer data to the symbol. The first way was to create the symbol in the symbols library and link the manufacturer there when we're creating the symbol. That way, if I'm always using the same manufacturer for a circuit breaker, for instance, I'm not having to associate it every time I use that symbol. It just automatically associated. The second way was to create a macro. And the secret way was, with that was to assign the manufacturers to the symbols before I create that macro. So when I place that macro next time, it will already be associated to those manufacturers. Well, my name is Bryce Hementhal, and that's another quick tips video from Go Engineer. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.